All right, in this video, I'm gonna give you a quick and simple tutorial on how to qualify for the layer three or the L3 token airdrop by collecting cubes. So it was confirmed just a couple of days ago that layer three, which is a quest platform for onboarding people into the world of web three, they're gonna drop their own token and it looks like it's going to be largely revolving around collecting and holding these cubes. Now, before I get into how you actually collect them, Let's go over here and check out this post from Ali, who is the success lead at layer three. Now the TLDR is that you need to collect, it looks like at least 100 cubes on the platform in order to qualify for the airdrop. It says at least. There's still actually 40 days left, so you still have time to farm the layer three airdrop if you want to get in on this. Also a key point of information is that OG and early beta users are going to have an advantage and there's gonna be more details on that in the future. And if you haven't actually logged into layer three for a while and you go to the website, this is the pop-up that you will see. Now in terms of the actual airdrop opportunity, I wouldn't say that this is a tier one or an S tier airdrop. The platform itself has raised $2.5 million. So it's not massive, although I would say that layer three is probably my favorite of the questing platforms for crypto. It's definitely better than Galaxy and Zealy. Now, aside from that, we don't actually have confirmation on the tokenomics, the size of the airdrop in terms of the percentage of the allocation and all of that. However, the one bonus to doing this is that you'll actually be farming multiple airdrops at the same time, because in order to collect these cubes, you need to do on-chain transactions and they want you to interact with tokenless L2s like ZK Sync and Blast and Zora and also different applications. So I would say it's a solid way to onboard into crypto and to hit multiple airdrops at the same time, even if you're already an expert. And then once you actually collect a hundred of these things, you get a little pop-up saying that your eligibility is confirmed. So now we know the stakes. We know that you have to collect at least a hundred of these cubes in order to qualify for the airdrop. And we know that if you've been interacting with the platform for a while now and you're an OG or an early beta user, then you'll have an additional bonus, but you should probably collect these cubes anyways. So in terms of how to get going with this, you can go to the layer three platform and actually just search for cubes. Or if you go to the homepage, often you'll see pop-ups that show you quests that earn cubes. And the first thing that you have to do actually is this, an intro to cubes quest. So if you haven't started, I'll link this down below and this can be your starting point. And completing these layer three quests is pretty intuitive. You just sort of click along. Usually they start off with a couple of slides of information that you have to click through. And then sometimes they ask you to do stuff off the platform like repost on X, but pro tip, you don't actually have to do it. If you just wait a few seconds, it will unlock and then you can just move to the next step without actually posting it. Then you can keep your Twitter or your X profile clean. And then usually the last thing or the last couple of things are the actual on-chain tasks. So this one, in order to collect the first cube, wants me to bridge to base. And it wants me to bridge to base using the official layer three bridge. So if there's an application that it wants you to interact with, it will usually link it right here. And then you just click on that to open it up in a new tab and now I need to bridge to base. And it doesn't specify any amount or any token. So it looks like as long as I bridge from one of these chains listed down here to base with any amount and any token, I'll be able to verify this quest. So let's say I'll bridge a small amount of ETH from ZK Sync to base. Then I'll just confirm the transaction here and sign it in my wallet. And by the way, this layer three bridge, I wouldn't say is amazing. It's definitely not my go-to in real life, but it's gonna make you interact directly with this platform a few times. And in order to collect these cubes, you're gonna to have to spend some money on transaction fees. You'll probably take some hits on things like slippage or bridging, but the hope is that the L3 token that we get is going to more than make up for whatever we spend in transaction fees to complete these quests and then also to mint the cubes because there's a small fee to mint the cubes as well. Anyways, once it's actually complete, you just go back to the quest page, hit verify and claim your rewards. And now in order to actually get this intro to cubes NFT, I need to switch back over to base so I can mint it. So let's claim the reward here. And this is gonna cost me actually quite a bit because transaction fees on base are through the roof since everyone is trading meme coins on base right now. But yeah, that is the first cube out of the way. And now when I go to do other cubes, it's gonna usually have that intro to cubes as sort of a prerequisite to continue with other quests. And so to get this mode cube, I had to do that. And now I can go to the next step which is to make a swap on mode using Kim Exchange, which actually I've already done. So I wonder if it will retroactively verify that for me. 
No. Okay, the verification needs to be within 60 minutes. So you have to make a new swap on the Kim Exchange, but this is fine because I've already got funds on mode and I'm farming this airdrop. So again, multi airdrop qualifier, I can hit the Kim Exchange airdrop, the mode airdrop, and then also the layer three airdrop just by completing this simple little quest. So let's make a small swap on mode and that went through. So I can now mint another cube and this one will be minted on the mode network. So depending on which network the cube is on, that's where you mint it. And this one you can see is a lot cheaper. This one's only gonna cost me 26 cents because the gas fees on mode are way cheaper than base right now. So yeah, that is how you do it. Now, theoretically, if I do that 98 plus more times, then I would qualify for this layer three airdrop. So it's gonna take you a while if you haven't actually already started yet. But the positive is that you'll be learning how to interact with a bunch of new layer twos and applications. And also every time you make one of these transactions, it's just helping you out for all of those other airdrops that you're farming anyways. So I think that the risk return on this is pretty solid. The cost to mint one of these is like 30 cents plus gas fees and hopefully the airdrop would be worth more than that. To get 100 of them, then it's gonna cost you somewhere in the realm of like 30 to $50, depending on what you're spending on gas. And if the airdrop amount is less than that, then honestly, that would be, I think, a pretty big disappointment. So that's a little tutorial on how you can get started farming the layer three airdrop. Hopefully you found this helpful as always, and links to everything that I discussed will be down below the video. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day.